how's it going? If you watched my previous videos, you will see that we are talking about how to play math games at home using any sort of number or playing cards that you have. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can add with any number cards that you have at home. It's very simple, very easy. It's great for kindergartners who are working on adding up to 20, and you can even use this for older kids by putting more numbers together, more than one number together, or working on higher numbers. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. It's very simple. So grab whatever number cards you have at home. You will get two of the cards. Just pick the top two, any top two. So I'm gonna grab the top two. One, two. So I now have the numbers one and 10. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to write that down and you're gonna write down one plus 10. And you are going to put them together and see what they equal. It's that simple. And if they're still working on it, you can use a couple strategies. You can just count how many pictures are there. So you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Figure out that one plus 10 is 11 or they can flip it and they might just know that 10 and one more is 11 or you can work on a strategy called counting on and that is where they just start at the number 10 and they keep counting if this is the number 10 we should already know that we don't have to count every single candle on here we know that it's already going to be 10 so we can just keep counting 10 11 so write that down. It's always good to write it down in a number sentence and anchor that and know that 10 plus one is 11. All right, that's one math problem down. Let's do another. We have two and eight. So like I was saying, we can use that counting on strategy and we can start right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let's write that down. 2 plus 8 equals 10 and keep going now if your child is in a higher grade or is more advanced you can either increase the numbers or you can put more than two numbers together you can get three you can do 4 plus 10 plus 4 and add them all together. It is important that if they don't know the answer right away, they either need to draw out how many to put them all together or build it using some sort of objects. Like for this, they can put four crayons, 10 crayons and four more crayons and put them all together so that they can visually see it. Um, we don't want them just memorizing all the addition facts. That is great if they have memorized it, but that could really hinder them in the long run if they're not practicing actually seeing the amounts that the numbers are. So that is very important. And write it down. It is always good to anchor it on a piece of paper. Um, that is one simple way that you can practice adding with cards. Then there is something else you can do. You can work on decomposing a number, and decomposing means to take a number and break it apart into smaller numbers. And this is really good, it helps them with adding and subtracting. So what you can do, again, is just take the cards and pick a card, any card, six. So let me show you what I mean by decomposing. So I have the number six. So what I want to do is I want to see how many different ways I can break six apart into other numbers. This works best if you have objects that they can actually physically break apart. So what you wanna do is essentially see how many different combinations that you can break this into. For example, pick a card like six and tell them to build out the number six and then break it into separate pieces like so. And then ask them how many they have. They had six and now they have three and three. Now what you can do from here is have them write that down into a number sentence and talk about what that means. So what that essentially means is that three plus three equals six when you put it back together. Then ask them to find a different way. 
Now I have four and I have two. What does that mean? That means that four plus two equals six. Tell them to break it apart again. They could break it apart into three groups. Two, two, and two. That means two plus two plus two equals six. And then have them write that down. You can do this for lots of different numbers and you could even just practice one number a day because as you can see, there are endless combinations especially as the numbers start getting larger. So by using these cards, you can put the numbers together or use them to decompose, and that is going to help them build their adding skills and become stronger mathematicians. Now, use anything you have at home. Have them write down numbers if you don't have cards. Have them use any objects. Remember, if they can actually build that number and use objects to count, that will really help them in the long run. But I hope this helps. I hope these two simple math games really help you. These two things, adding and decomposing, really go a long way. And if you want to just practice one number a day, you can just practice one number a day. And always have them write the number sentence out. Again, that will also help them to remember. And that'll be good for the memorizing part of it because they'll be so used to writing it down and practicing that they'll say, oh, I've added two plus three so many times that I know two plus three is five. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, please reach out if you have any questions for me. Please follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Post any work you have to Seesaw. Post pictures. I want to see all your hard work. I miss you guys so much. I love you guys. And have a great day.